Hello, my name is Sean Hackney with Next Home Northwest Living here in Bellingham, Washington with your September 1st, 2021 market update for Bellingham and Whatcom County and maybe a little bit of perspective across the nation as we see it. So we are obviously in very interesting times, uh, whether you are a buyer, a seller, or you're just kind of watching and hearing things from the sidelines, let's take a look at the actual statistics my thoughts on that and historic trends and take a look at where I think the market is going. So let's first start in Bellingham. So this is Bellingham, Washington. This does exclude Sudden Valley, but whether uh, you include Sudden Valley or all of Whatcom County, you're going to see a very similar trend. I'm going to link those below uh, for you statistic nerds uh, to take a peek. But let's just take a really quick peek at the different pricing uh, depending on when, since we just wrapped up uh, August, let's go back to 2018. Median home sales in Bellingham were 400,000. If we fast forward 2019 to August 2019, 425. So 400 to 425, we see it obviously upward migration. If we go to 20. 20 last year, kind of in the heat of the pandemic, we still went up from 425 to 455, steady rise. Maybe not what everybody expected during a pandemic. Um, we'll talk about that here in just a moment. And now if you fast forward to 2021, August that we just wrapped up, we had a huge increase moving from 455 almost up $100,000 to 550 for the median sales price. That is a, over a 37, almost a 38% increase from August of 2018 to August of 2021. Huge appreciation. So what happened? Why, why this trend during a, a pandemic? If you look at history and pandemics going way, way back when, one thing we know happens and that's migration. People use it for whatever reason as a a rationale to move. And, and we absolutely saw that. I think in our local area, we saw it for two different reasons. Bellingham and Whatcom County has always been a highly sought after place to live because of the quality of life, uh, not necessarily the jobs, but people love the quality of life that we offer up here. Uh, the one major thing that people saw, especially from the Seattle area is, hey, we can, we're going to be working from home. We're going to work remotely. Uh, and they took a look at our prices, although people up here felt like our prices were pretty, uh, stacked up pretty high already for people outside of the area. They didn't believe that. Uh, they looked at our prices and, and thought they were very reasonable. <clears throat> the pandemic drove the migration up here for people to, to live and work remotely, get more home for their money. So that, that happened. What we are also seeing though, is people taking the equity out of their homes and their assets in other places and parking it in real estate across the country. One of those places happens to be in Bellingham and Whatcom County. Uh, there's a house just down the street from me that was purchased last summer and not a single person has uh, lived in it yet. The family bought it um, and has just parked their money there as an asset and a resource. So we're seeing those two major things <clears throat> that have driven the market in that. Let's also take a quick look at the month supply. So what this means is how many months, if there were no new inventory to come on the market, how long would it take before the inventory is at zero? Okay, it's one of our measures. So if you go back to uh, August of 2018, you will see that we had 1.6 month supply. So just a little bit over a month and a half, about six, seven weeks. Fast forward, we're gonna come up here to uh, 19, 1.5, you're gonna say that stays steady <clears throat> into 2020 last year, 1.5, and then you can see where the graph goes. We go from 1.5 and we dropped a 0.8 of a month. So not even a full four weeks of inventory if nothing new came on the market. So if you go back to, to 2018, this was considered tight inventory for us. So you can see where we're at now. We've heard it. A lot of people want to sell their homes. Where do I go? How do I do this in an environment that I might not be able to sell contingent? If you have those questions and those concerns, let me know. We can come up possibly with some various strategies that people are using with some success. Um, these type of trends continue. If you look at Whatcom County, again, I'll put them uh, it below. Um, but 
the question that comes up and the thing that uh, a lot of people, buyers were saying last year, hey, I'm going to wait for the market to tank uh, and then I'll take advantage because they said there is no way it's going to continue this trend. It has, and it probably will continue to do so. I do believe that we're going to flatten. We've seen a flattening of the market. That Some of that may be just the traditional summer months where we experience that. Uh, oftentimes here with the, the holiday weekend, as soon as that happens, we usually have a, a nice fall window of about eight weeks, eight to 10 weeks of uh, a very strong market. So we will see, even in these uncertain times, whether that pattern uh, continues. It'll be a very interesting one to see. Um, but... Mortgage rates continue to stay steady and low. We can expect those to go up over time. But here's the big thing that everybody talks about. I'm waiting for this bubble. This is why I do not believe this is going to happen. We all feel emotionally similar to what happened pre-recession. We had a, a boom in the market, very similar to what we're experiencing now. And then all of a sudden it did burst. Now we're having a, another boom again and everybody wants to go back and feel like, oh my gosh, this, this emotionally feels the same way as it did pre-recession. I don't want to go through that again. Um, this is why this is not a bubble. That back uh, in 2000, leading up to 2006 and seven, that was real, that was lender based because they were basically, if you could fog a mirror, they're giving you money, right? And there was no equity in homes. Equity in homes right now is at an all-time high across the nation. Uh, down payment money just in the last two years has doubled um, in amount. So this is different. Are we going to see a flattening and maybe a slight dip in pricing? Absolutely. That is normal uh, and, and expected, but that is not a bubble. Okay, That's just a normal uh, progression of any type of market, but that's why I believe this is not a bubble. I'm going to include this below as well. If you'd like to take a peek, this is provided by uh, my mentors and my coaching company called Buffini and Company. Uh, look at the National Association of Realtor Statistics uh, and <clears throat> the rationale behind that. If you have any of your own specific questions, you're not sure what to do, uh, you want to look at different stats or, or talk over different strategies, please let me know. I'm here to help you. And uh, drop me a text, an email, or uh, make comments down below, and we'd be happy to get those answered. Have a great month of September. Stay safe, stay happy, and spread some, uh, like I always tell my daughter, give the gift of your smile.